So I just finished my morning training session and it got me really thinking about this concept of discomfort and how we often fear discomfort, but it's actually what drives progress in any aspect of our life, especially our training. Uh, you can look at this career-wise, relationships, things like that. Discomfort is this vice that actually drives progress. So I kind of laid it out here. We have progress on the side, discomfort on the bottom. We have detraining right here. We have our optimal training up top and then overtraining over here. Okay, so basically, if you're not challenging yourself enough, you're really not going to be very high on your progress scale. It, from a weight perspective or a training perspective, if you're approaching a dumbbell rack for an exercise and you have no idea what you did last week and you have no idea what you did the previous week for that movement, you're probably not hitting this optimal level of discomfort. So then you're in this detraining state. You're actually not getting that much value out of your training. Yes, we need lighter days. We need recovery days. But if you're always falling in the state where you're not really challenging yourself, you're probably not seeing much progress. Optimal progress is right in this beautiful blend of a little bit of discomfort. You're challenging yourself each week. Maybe that's going up by five pounds on an exercise each week, or you're at least maintaining where you're at. You're not going backwards with your performance. And then you have overtraining. So you go too hard, you push too much, all of a sudden you start dropping down that progress scale again. How can you measure overtraining? Simple thing I do is I take my resting heart rate. If I see it, my, I start with my average, figure out what my average resting heart rate is. So I might track that for a week, for example, calculate my average. And then if I see that I'm three, four beats over uh, my average for three or four days, I'm probably overtraining and need to make an adjustment. I'm not recovering properly. My resting heart rate is rising. It's showing me that my body is not getting back to its original position after whatever stimulus I applied that previous day. So what you're seeing here is discomfort plays a role in progress. So what I challenge you to do now is not fear discomfort and learn that it's actually a vice for progress. Once you look at it as discomfort causes progress, discomfort becomes a little bit more enjoyable. It has a little bit more purpose. So whenever you're doing something challenging, whether it's with your training, you're trying to get to a new level of fitness, maybe you're trying to improve in your career or deepen your relationship with someone, there's going to be some level of change or discomfort that you have to go through. Don't take that as a negative. Understand that it's a vice for that progress and get after it.